my Fallout 4 is kind of like messing up. It's kind of breaking down and I didn't even change anything, which is the reason why I haven't been making a lot of videos for this game. But there is something that I really wanted to do for quite a while now and I'm just going to tough through it and do it anyway. So this is going to be a small guide on how to use one of my favorite mods for this game. It's probably like in my top five. Okay, so this mod is called Shielded Settlers and what it's going to do is it's going to let you put your settlers in power armor and you're going to be able to have them patrol the settlement freely or they could go to guard points and you know you could give them break times and things like that. It's really nice and it's the only mod that this mod author made and I just feel like it's one of those mods that's really underrated. So we're going to go in here and we're going to get started with this. So obviously you're going to need to be in a settlement and you're going to need to open the workshop menu and then what you're going to do is you're going to well give me a second here because I have a lot of mods in here so sometimes it takes a while for the items to load up but it's easier to find the stuff in here because all you have to do is scroll all the way over to the right and it's got its own section right here so as you can see this says shielded settlers and I'm <clears throat> I'm going to pop this open so there's a few items in here in this menu and I'm going to explain to you what all of them do so this is the guard point when you have guards out in power armor and then you assign them to to be on guard duty they will actually walk to these points wherever they are in your settlement and they will stand there and you know guard that area so this is an armor platform you're going to need one of these for every settler that you have inside of power armor so this is the docks that they're going to use whenever they go to uh put their suit on or make repairs to it because their power armor can get damaged as well over here we have the armor scanner this is where you're going to put the actual power armor that you're going to be used that you're going to be using and the power armor that that's placed in here is the one that the settlers will actually use they will get all of the upgrades as well like you know calibrated shocks or tesla coils things like that so basically they will make their own duplication of the armor and what is the last material the last material is this this is the one that gets everything going you don't really have to worry about it all you have to do is make sure that it has a power source and that it is hooked up to a terminal once that is done you are good to go okay so once that's all wired up i'm going to go here and i'm going to plug that up and i'm also going to place a few more of these because i want a few settlers in power armor so i could you know really show you guys the full experience and how it works so i'm going to plant like a good four I'll move this guy out here, see if I can get a fifth one in here. All right, so we got five of these here. We're going to power these up. Hook them all up to here. And yeah, there you go. So once you got everything there done, you're good to go. Also, I just want to say that another thing that I love about this mod is that all you need is local leader one to do it. You don't have to go all crazy in science and intelligence because I don't like to do that because I like to use, you know, the idiot savant at the beginning of the game. So anyway, we're going to wait till daytime so I can showcase the mod a bit better. All right. So now it's daytime and don't mind the colors. Every time I try to record some weird stuff happens like colors start messing up and it starts raining and things like that. So the next thing you want to do is you want to open your menu and you want to just start going up to settlers and you want to assign them to the post. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm just going to go run around, grab five settlers and assign them to this post. All right. So now that I finished assigning uh, five settlers to these posts right here, as you can see, they're all assigned. Make sure that the power armor is in the dock, place it over here, and then make sure you go to it so it good it gets in the uh in the rack. And then once it's over in the rack, you want to come over here to the um the terminal, and then you should see a new option called power armor team control. Once you're here, you want to go to power armor maintenance, and then you back out. 
And then all of the settlers that you assigned to this post will all walk over here. Yes. So now you can see they're all walking over to the guard post to make their power armors. And they're going to make this T-51 because that's the one that I put in the rack. So the cool thing about it is you see them, you know, they spawn in the frames. They have the animation like they're working on the power armors. The thing about this is if you're a little impatient, you can actually wait like an hour or two. Yes. And see, they will jump ahead in, in position and automatically just spawn in on their racks. So now that they all perform their power armor upgrades, they're still not going to get in because you have to go back to the terminal again. Excuse me, Sasha. Now you go to power armor team control and then from here you can put you can select different things like off duty free patrol mission and guard mission. So before I, I set this, I'm going to make sure that I set enough uh, guard posts. So remember I talked to you about the the guard points. OK, so you have to make sure that there's five of them placed around since you have five guards now you can place this anywhere where you want them to stand because that's that's where they're going to stand once you set them to guard so i'm going to run around and i'm going to place like two right here and then i'll place another right here hmm? and i'll place the other two right here just for the showcase so I'm going to come back over to the terminal again, power on team control, and then I'm going to put set to guard mission. Now they should all go to their power armors and once they jump inside, they will all go to their, their guard points that are placed around in the camp. So sometimes they have trouble getting in if you put the racks too close. Like I said, you can just uh, jump ahead an hour and they will jump in place. You see, they yeah. just automatically jumped in the power armors. So now all of them should start going to the guard points that I set. Remember, I just... No problem, no problem. So yeah, guard point right here. And yeah, they'll just stand there. Now, if you don't like the way they're facing, you simply just enter the workshop mode, push them a little bit, and then you could just turn it or or even move it. Like, let's say I didn't want you standing right there. I want you standing right here. Now he'll come over here and he'll face that way. And these two guys over here are going to the guard points that are placed over there. Or the three, actually. So one more thing yes you not you the people who are watching this video okay so you come over to power armor team control again and you can go to set free patrol mission now when you go to set free patrol mission what this is going to do is it's going to make the guards roam around the settlement and while still wearing their power armor so this is just pretty good i, I really like this one this one is more immersive to me uh depending on which settlement you're in the the range in which they patrol is pretty incredible. So sometimes you will see these guys go across this bridge almost as far as the red ro rocket and they'll cross around that island over there. And, uh, you know, they'll patrol that side of the of the settlement as well. All right. So setting them to off duty will just have them roam around and they'll just be hanging out doing whatever they want to do. If you have the vault DLC with those slot machines, they will sometimes get out of the power armor to play slots. And I'm going to show you something else. Uh, remember what I said, whatever power armor that you put in here is the power armor that they're going to use. So you can actually come over here and you can make some upgrades. Like for example, I'm probably just going to add something like this chest equipment from Fallout 76. Okay, so once you changed up your power armor a little bit, you come over to the terminal, power armor team control, and then go to perform power armor upgrade. Wait for it to load a little bit. And then the team will run over 
to change their, their power armors into this version. So they're gonna jump out. Make sure when you place these things that you give them a little bit of space because sometimes they'll get stuck. Or like I said, if they get stuck, you could just, you know, uh, jump ahead a few hours or just one hour and they will fix themselves. So as you can see, they're switching to the new one. These guys are taking a while to fix themselves, so I'm just gonna, you know, wait an hour. And there you go, they jump in place. And now they're all making the new upgrades. So that's Shielded Settlers. It's one of my top five favorite mods for this game. I suggest you, you know, go try it out. If it's still there on the Nexus, I'm going to put a link for it so you can download it. And that's it. Thank you for watching.